And I have huge ass nipples. You're talking about the dog, right? Yeah. Hey y'all, welcome back. Today we're going to be watching Amber Lynn and her various love interests over the years go on date nights. Ready? Let's go. And of course, first up, we have Crystal. Hello everybody and welcome to my vlog. Since Crystal got her license yesterday, Crystal and I are going out on another little mini date. So I'm just kind of looking in my closet. I'm not sure what I'm going to wear. Issues. Woman issues. <laughs> <laughs> always trying to figure out what to wear so here is my jewelry and outfit for today my hair i just put it up in a bun oh my god she was rocking the poop bun even back in 2014 i'm wearing this gold and red rose necklace that i got from kohl's literally beautiful and obsessed i'm wearing these red heart earrings that i got from I think Walmart. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm wearing this owl diamondy gold um, red rose ring that I got from shopmissay.com. So, and then I'm wearing this black shirt with lace on top, like rose lace. So, yeah. Um, got red flats on. I don't know if you guys can tell. Okay, cool. Let's get to the actual date. Every day I'm lint licking. Every day Crystal's lint licking. <laughs> this is what you get for having cats and wearing black all the time. You have to lint lick. Dang, look how hygienic she used to be. Like, imagine going from worrying about lint on your clothes to like a few years later not showering for an entire year. That is crazy. <laughs> Are you filming? No. Uh, so now we know, even as far back as 2014, she was filming people without their consent, lying about it, and then uploading it to the internet. Where is it even at? Oh, <laughs> I was filming the wrong area. We're going to Golden Corral because it's cheap and you get to choose what you want. Yeah, I'm sure it totally had nothing to do with it being an all-you-can-eat buffet. Oh, seatbelt almost hit me in the chops. <laughs> I used to love, like, buffets. I know it's called buffet. Buffets more than, like, anything. But it's not, like, the greatest, but we're just going here because it's, like, super easy, super fast, and you get to choose what you want. Okay, I'll give her the super easy, and I'll give her the you get to choose what you want. But how, what, <laughs> what is fast about a buffet? Coming? Whenever Crystal and I, when it's just her and I, when we go to like a buffet place like this, I always have her go up first and then I'll go up after her. I don't know why, it's like some weird thing. I always get surprised with what she chooses, but um, there are so many people here, so I think I'm gonna stop filming while I'm in here because I currently have people staring at me. All right, let's discuss. Why do you guys think is the reason that she makes Crystal go up before her? I feel like maybe it's because Crystal was very vocal about how they were both on diets at the same time. And I feel like Crystal, maybe if they were picking out their food together, she would probably say things about what Amberlynn was putting on her plate, maybe even telling her not to put certain things on her plate. And I feel like Amberlynn figured once it's on my plate and I come sit down with it, I can't put it back. So that's kind of my theory about why they, why Amberlynn insisted on them going up separately. What do you guys think? There's always a maze to get out of this place. We stopped at the house real quick. That's Crystal, if you're wondering. <laughs> She's going to get some moolah because we're going to go to Walmart, so... Oh, God. So even back then, she was having girlfriends run her to the Walmart every other night, even on date night. And we left our money here. Well, some of our money, so. It is so... Sorry, the light's on, so that's why you see me in the dark. 
like it is like thundering and lightning so bad right now I'm like terrified literally terrified I hate weather like this hmm. we just arrived at Walmart um totally just remembered something in the car okay so Crystal has her license right and we have we have a gym membership we do we just don't go to the gym because we didn't have the transportation <laughs> Crystal and I realized we have the transportation now, so we're gonna start going to the gym, and I'm fucking thrilled, so. Not a single person believes that you are fucking thrilled about going to the gym. Ugh, like, the fact that our elliptical's upstairs is kind of funny now. The fact that we can go to the gym now, so we don't really need it upstairs. But I mean, it's cool that it's still upstairs, just in case, you know, it's snowing and we can't get to the gym, but I'm so fucking happy because I love our gym super big super nice and we can finally go who knew amberlyn reed was such a gym rat i'm sorry i couldn't say that with a straight face are you excited crystal yeah. <laughs> yay i am literally loving all of the halloween goodies like legit though i wish i had enough money to buy like the perfect scenario of stuff First of all, what the fuck does the perfect scenario of stuff mean? And second of all, girl, you don't even have a home to decorate. You're living with your girlfriend in her parents' home. Where are you going to put Halloween decorations? <laughs> the perfect scenario of stuff. Because I, I, we never decorate for Halloween. We decorate for Christmas, but never for Halloween. Oh, I want to so badly. What is that? Let me see that up close. <laughs> oh... I think I'm scarred for for life. What the hell? That is the like the best thing, but the weirdest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Do you think it would stay right there? I look like a half like that Oops. though. Did she say she looks like a half? <laughs> now we're in the dock. Wait. There we go. <laughs> Does that light <laughs> Shit! I don't know what I'm doing there, but... Okay, legit, I think we need to invest in a car mount. Or something to sit right there. <laughs> Amber, she doesn't want to be filmed. Why can't you get that through your head? And why are you so insistent on putting her in the vlogs when you know she's uncomfortable? That was a major fail, but anyways. We're on our way home now. Um, we were gonna stay out longer, but uh, Crystal's parents don't wanna fall asleep until we get home, and they woke up super early this morning, so they wanted us to head back home, so. Nothing like dating in your 20s when you have to be home before your girlfriend's parents go to bed. It's gonna take time, I guess, for Crystal's parents to realize that Crystal's not a little girl anymore. You know what would really help them realize she's not a little girl anymore? If y'all started paying rent. Well, she hasn't been for a while, but she is a new licensed driver, so we do have to be careful. I'm sorry if you guys can't see me. I guess I can turn that on real quick, but she is a new licensed driver, so I guess that makes sense. But anyways, um, I, we did buy a few things. Why are you cruising for a bruising, girl? Oh my god, I never realized what a backseat driver she was until my last favorite moments video when she got backseat driving back, and now it's like... I can't not see it. Like, holy cow. Speed limit. Oh, you're doing the speed limit? I felt like we were in NASCAR. Speed limit's 40 and that's what I was oh, I thought she was going past. <laughs> oh, wow, that's funny. The speed limit was 45 and she was going even below that and I thought we were like going cray. Anyways, I was going to say something. Oh yeah, we uh, bought a few things, so I'll definitely do a haul. Um, I'll probably do it tomorrow though. I don't know, maybe I'll do it tonight. We'll see. Someone commented earlier saying that they uh like when i um do like hauls where i show my face because i make funny facial expressions and that i make their day when i post a haul so actually that actually meant a lot <laughs> raise your hand if you believe that bullshit but anyways catch you guys in a few oh, Ooh, not in like a sprite zero when you're super thirsty I mean, go on our computers. 
Okay, so that was about everything for their date night. They got all dressed up, went to Golden Corral, then the Walmart, and then home early to do, well, probably something like rock band and, I don't know, organize her necklace collection. (laughs) But up next, we have a destiny date night. Something tells me this is going to be a lot different than the crystal one, so let's go. So we're at the movies right now. The Shallows came out today, and Destiny and I were like, yes. Uh, Just a little bit of Amberlynn trivia for you here. She would later on gift the DVD of this movie, The Shallows, to her new girlfriend, Beck. But our one-month anniversary, I don't know, it's like a month we've been together will be the ninth. So I got her these roses. I don't know. (laughs) <laughs> thought that counts and she really likes uh sour candy and i know she likes these sour punch bites so i got her those and then i just got her some gourmet truffles i don't know and she knows i love blake lively i love this movie the shallows so i don't know i just <laughs> got this as a last minute thing so sorry um we literally got one large drink one large popcorn and just two tiny chocolates i'm sorry what was that two tiny chocolates two tiny chocolates ma'am those are both king size what are you talking about the crunch is destiny's and mine is the mini reese's and it was twenty dollars just for that little bit of food i'm like okay (laughs) okay but was that human head size bucket of popcorn really necessary oh so today i told destiny i was like okay Go upstairs. I'm wearing this black maxi dress and this like mint cardigan. And I was like, You choose my jewelry. So she chose my jewelry. So it actually looks pretty good. Anyways, yeah, I'm super excited. Like, I've been seeing the previews for the shallows and I've been like, Oh my god, yes, 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 yes. That face you make when you get to not only watch your celebrity crush on screen, but also pig out on popcorn and candy while doing so. So we saw the movie, The Shallows. I literally cried like five times. Oh my God, it was so freaking good. If you guys like shark movies and it was Blake Lively. So hello, how you doing girl? Like she's so cute. Oh my God, she's actually beautiful anyways. And I love her as an actress. She is fucking awesome at acting. Like, whoa. So it was an awesome movie and yeah, so awesome. Destiny is inside this little store known in Kentucky for their ice cream. So we're going to try it. I'm going to get in the coffee kind and I forgot what kind she said she was getting. Girl, it's date night. Go inside and eat it with her. What are you going to do? Eat it in the car on the way home? That's not romantic. I think she's getting German chocolate. I don't remember. Because all the flavors are right here. And I am getting coffee, which is right there. German chocolate right there. Um, You can get them on a cone. You can get it in a bowl. I don't like cones. So, um, and I didn't want to get out because there's a bunch of people over here in the corner. And there's like 50 million dogs. And I'm just like, no thanks. I get like really awkward around people and like their dogs. And yeah, so she said she'd just get it for me. Huh? What are you talking about? You have a dog yourself. Do you never socialize your dog with any other dogs? Also, I have literally never heard her say that before. Just say you didn't want to go in. You were too lazy. You wore the wrong shoes. Whatever. I think we're just going to eat in the car. Because we're cool. Did you get a scratcher? Yeah. There it is. What kind did you get? Banana. Oh, banana. I thought you said German chocolate. Mm -mm. Okay, try it on camera. Mm. Okay, now record me doing it. (laughs) Have you had this place before? Yeah. We don't need her to record you. We already know what's going to happen. Guys, I'm so nervous. (gasps) Oh my god, it's amazing. 10 out of 10, recommend. (laughs) All right, coffee time. The good? So in tasting, what we do is take a small amount right off the top. 
All 9,000 taste bud. Aerate it. Warm it up. Driving up. That top note. That cream. Pure vanilla. Mm, that's a 10. Oh my god, it's like a... It doesn't taste like, you know when you get coffee, ice cream? It's like, coffee, ice cream. It tastes like vanilla coffee, ice cream. Ooh. It's a really good. Well, oh you my know, God. All it really is, is, um, that stinks. <laughs> what stinks? Oh, whatever was on my hand. All it really is, is vanilla ice cream, and then they squirt the flavoring in it. Oh. What exactly did she think it was? I mean, did she really think that some gas station in the middle of nowhere is manufacturing their own 24 flavors of ice cream? It tastes really good. Okay, Yuri. How do you do it? Um, it's ticket. pretty obvious. So you just go bam. You either win like that or like that or like that. Well, the, it's different ways, though. Yeah. So we're about to win $500 or 15000 Girl, who's we? Destiny bought that ticket. I'll let you guys know if we win afterwards. Okay, so that was the Destiny and Amberlynn date night. Honestly, while the activities were different from the Crystal and Amberlynn date night, it was still pretty boring. Let's check out the Beck and Amberlynn date night. Hey guys. Okay, so I am still sick, but... Not really surprised at this point. I'm kind of sucking at taking medicine, so that's my fault. So today, Becky and I are actually going to go out. So you're sick, but still going to go out and spread your germs everywhere. Love that. Do a little bit of Christmas shopping, if you will, even though I feel like poop. And I have like <laughs> a fucking sty in my eye. This happens whenever I use someone else's makeup or like new makeup that I'm not used to. Because as you guys know, like I always use the same like six things on my face. And whenever I use something different, my eyes do not know how to react. Becky did my makeup, as you guys remember, this was weeks ago, but I ended up keeping eyeshadow because I like the green, I like the gold, and I thought it was festive, so I've been wearing it and bad idea, so. So what you're saying is it was Beck's fault because it's always Beck's fault. I can't even wear makeup today. <laughs> I look like a crazy, this is usually a sweater that I just wear indoors, but I'm wearing outdoors because all my cardigans are very kind of like spring, fall, summery. They do not keep me warm. Anyone else think it's kind of weird she has an indoor sweater as opposed to just a regular sweater? Shoes are on. Purse is ready. Teeth is being brushed. Teeth is already brushed. Oh, perfume is chosen. This is Purr by Katy Perry. So I'm gonna bring this bag with me because I don't want Becky to see the gifts that I'm gonna be getting her because we are shopping for each other. Can't you just tell her not to look at them? I mean, y'all are adults. Is it really that big of a deal to keep it a secret? So we're gonna eat at TJ Maxx and I end up what? falling asleep. I love when Beck gets so shocked by how dumb Amberlynn is. And I end up falling <laughs> Baby. Why do I keep doing that? I am craving TJ Maxx. Okay, I'm sorry. We're eating at TGI Fridays and I end up falling asleep in the car. Okay, so date night is off to a great start. Amberlynn is sick. Also, she was forced to wear her indoor sweater and she's been asleep for most of it, so. Okay. Windy? Windy much? Hopefully you guys can hear me, but yeah. I ended up falling asleep in the car, so I don't even know what's happening right now, but let's go eat. I literally already know exactly what I want. Do you really? Yep. You don't know what you want? No, not yet. No. I want the, where is it? Grilled salmon. Who else thought she was going to say orange chicken? Seasoned with hickory smoked sea salt, parmesan butter, with jasmine rice and steamed spinach. Yes. How's your food taste? Great. Is it? Yes. Hey. My food is tasting amazing as well. Is 
Isn't this fun, guys? Don't you feel like you're on the date with them? Also, doesn't it feel like you have super blurry vision? Hey, guys. So I just bought tons of stuff. I'm super excited. Um, I actually got Crystal a couple more things. Just three things. And um, I got Becky quite a few things, obviously, because we both want to have things to open up on Christmas Day. But, yeah, I've gone to several stores and... Now I'm just waiting for Becky. <laughs> Becky and I have decided to get some cold stone on this very cold day. Okay, so just like with Destiny, they had to end the date with some ice cream. However, Beck did make her go in and get the ice cream herself. So props to her for that. Cold stone! Hey, you guys, look. Christmas. Hey, you guys, look. Becky. <laughs> it cracks me up how Beck always leaves her in the dust. Like, she did that at the movie theater when they went on that triple date and the door closed in Amberlynn's face. I have a feeling she does it, though, not because she's, like, a super fast walker, but because Amberlynn is just so slow. Oh boy. I usually like coffee kinds, but mint looks great. I don't know about you guys, but when I'm sick, the last thing I want is ice cream. What kind did you get? Cake batter. The three seed pieces. And I got the smallest size I had because I'm really bad about not finishing stuff. Yeah. I got the middle size and it is mint with little itty bitty baby chocolate chips. I totally thought she was going to say and I got the middle size because I'm great at finishing stuff. Okay, this is a judgment free zone. Becky and I wanted to show you our dirty pad. <laughs> We ordered a bunch of um, Cards Against Humanity cards. This is the period pack. And it literally came this way. <laughs> yeah, it came like this. We didn't just do this. I am so in love with whoever made Cards Against Humanity. I am not sponsored. Let's just... <laughs> literally comes with in a, a pack chocolate. with a chocolate heart. Look! <laughs> I just thought that was the funniest thing. So who do y'all think got to eat the chocolate heart? I say that like we all don't already know. That's great. This is great. And then there's also a college pack that comes with a really big box. And inside of it was actually a poster of two guys kissing. I don't know. It was actually kind of cute. And then we got a food one, which came in this box. And it came with... Whoops. Okay. <laughs> it came with actual food. Like these corn things, but we're not eating them. Girl, stop playing with us right now. Like, we, we really don't feel like it. says it's edible, but I'm, no, I'm a little scared. I'm not even going to eat this chocolate, even though that does sound great. Lies, lies, and more lies, and lies on top of lies. We also got a bunch of other ones, like a weed pack that came with real weed in it. So, I'm just kidding. <laughs> we did get a weed pack, um, just like several other packs. But then we also got four of these, which are actually blank. So we can make our own, which we already bought a pack before and we really enjoyed it. So, yay. I forgot all about the Cards Against Humanity hoarding. I wonder who got all those packs in the divorce. Probably Goodwill. So it's been a pretty long day and I think we're both really tired. And I cannot wait till I get some shut eye because I'm very sleepy. And uh, I know Amberlynn is too. Aren't you? Yeah. And we hope you all enjoyed this vlog and we'll see you next time. Bye. Okay, so that was date night during the Beck era. Lastly, we have date night with Feline. Hello, hello. Welcome to this moment in time. Oh my God, I'm already annoyed. <laughs> I hate Feline era. Okay, so I'm skipping past this part, but she takes a COVID test because she's not feeling well. And for whatever reason, that is when she loves to go out on date night. So, yeah. Thank you. We have arrived. 
Alrighty. Wait, are you telling me they went back to Malibu Jacks, the same place that she went with Beck, Eric, and Ricky? It's so gorgeous. I'm about to do my first one. Okay, well, her stance is much better than the last time, but girl, what was that? That does not. Yes, it does. Fully? So I didn't tell you guys, but we actually brought Twinkie with us. I was surprised they let us bring her in. Look at her. Doesn't she look so cute? Is that a fat joke? You leave Twinkie alone. She's so sweet. A little bridge moment. I think we actually have to walk past that at one point. Oh wait, what is this? Oh, we have to make it go over the water? Is she seriously trying to pretend like she's never been here before? Oh, that's cool. Okay, okay. All right, let's see if my ball actually goes over the water. I did it. I did it. <laughs> I did that. <laughs> I wish they would have pulled a Jim Bob and Michelle Duggar and full on dry humped in the middle of that place. Michelle and I love to kiss. We love to hug. You bend your knees a little bit like this. <laughs> bend your knees a little bit. Hey, is it turn you on? <laughs> All right, let's see if you actually can do it. Let's do it. I have faith in you. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Yes. All right, I think now we're going over the bridge. The Bridgie McGee. Clonk. All right. Wait, where's my ball? Where oh. Is your ball? She's oh, way over here. Remember how Amberlynn kept saying how beautiful that place was? Gorge! Oh, oh that was close. Alright, this one we're trying to get her under the rock. Hell yeah. Now we're about to go under this creation. Oh my god, I almost fell backwards and did that. <laughs> oh yeah. It's kind of cozy under here. I kind of like. I still get the feeling that she's trying to pretend she's never been there before, which if wifey is a viewer like we found out, then girl, she's already seen you there. Okay, so this ball has to go all the way around down there and through there to there. So let's see. Let's see, folks. Why am I so bad at this? Wait. Redo. Redo. What is that? Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. That would drive me crazy if I was fleeing. Like, dude, just hit the ball normally. Wait, I did that so bad. I did that so bad. Thank you. Yes. Okay, let's see you do it. <laughs> I need to take her techniques. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Okay. Kentucky right now we're in Hollywood so I'm just really excited to be here Feline's never been I have though <laughs> ew this is so cringe guilty okay so we're currently at Walmart I'm in the jewelry and just like with the other date nights she has to go shopping section I don't buy jewelry like I used to but it's nice to look 
Like literally these used to be something that I would probably buy. I'm not calling them ugly by no means, but. I would hope not, because have you seen the ones you're currently wearing? I actually like these a lot. And they've also upped their price. Um, Time and True used to be $4.98 per set of earrings, and now it's $6.92. It was $4.98 for years. I mean, that's insane. I really like these. Do I want them? Would I wear them? No, I'll put her back. I'll put her back. I'll put her back. I don't need them. I don't need them. I just know as soon as she stopped recording, she went and grabbed those earrings. 100%. You guys, it's officially that time of year. Merry Christmas. I bet if they had that in the 6X, she would totally get it. All right, you guys. The real reason. The mini brand toys. Baby girl. <laughs> oh, baby. Are my boots out? Oh, she's my. And that wraps up the last date night. I hope you guys had fun watching these with me. I had so much fun watching them with you. If you enjoyed it, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe.